Does a child look like this or this? Would you want a child to be this or this? Razor TV speaks to three parents to find out if they favored free play or education for their children. What would you say is more important, free play or learning the alphabets and numbers? Free play, for sure. I mean, that's a that carries a high premium now with me because you know time is so scarce, and sometimes my daughter will come and ask me. Mom, what should I do now? It's like, are you crazy? It's your free time. You decide for yourself. Because children nowadays, they're so used to like being timetabled. It's really sad. I think there's a time and place for both. So to to me, what I've cut out is that the the weekdays are more for even all these enrichment classes and all. They are all structured within uh, the weekdays with uh, all the rest of the homework and and the things here and the and the spelling. It, it really gets um, the, the whole week filled up. Before he gets to bed, it's always a uh, free play. We emphasize that, but it's always a struggle to balance between free play and homework. We empower him in the sense that we let him know: uh, look, homework and play, you have to balance. Uh, we recommend re- recommend that you finish your homework first because by the time your siblings come back from school, you will want to join them. You'll be distracted. Can we encourage you to do your homework first? But recently, mm. PM was mm. saying that you know. Um, parents are, don't need to be so kanjiang. Do you think that's possible in today's world? I think it's extremely difficult, um, and I think this, if, if I can, if I if I can share, I think this starts from when uh, uh, my kid was in mummy's tummy, um, because science has been so advanced. Uh, we were told one fine day after uh, this three D scan, which was so high tech. That they detected that a valve was not working in his heart, and that freaked us all. And and he listed like a hundred possible diseases that will come from it, you know. And and that really freaked us out. But he he turned out fine. Um, we we get pressure from uh, from different um, uh, environments, uh, from colleagues, from other parents, from science and technology, you know. And and we are not looking at the child's uh, individual development. I think it takes a very brave parent to say that you're not going to be kanjiang about it, because I, I keep going back to the GEP and the DSA because these are things that create discriminatory and and elitist behaviors amongst parents, and, and that's something that we cannot run away from. For whatever good intentions these were instituted, it's resulted in certain abnormal behaviors amongst a lot of parents. Say GEP. Would, I, I think to, to a lot of us, we can say, you know, fine, if my child doesn't get into GEP, no problems. But when you realize that GEP, get, GEP kids get priority into certain uh, elite schools, elite secondary schools, wouldn't you be tempted to even make your child try that little bit harder? I think a lot of us would. And the other thing with DSA also, um, I think it's as high as fifty percent of the spaces can be allocated through DSA for IP schools, uh, integrated uh, schools with integrated programs and certain specialist schools. Now, if your child can get a space through DSA, doesn't that also take a lot of the pressure off PSLE? You know, of course, your, your child would still have to do well during PSLE to really secure that place 100%. But you'll still be able to breathe that little bit easier. Wouldn't a parent be tempted to? You know, so there are all these little temptations along the way that add to a pressure of being a parent, being a child in this modern society. Parenting expert Dr. Namala Karupia echoes these parents' sentiments. Parents believe that, you know, by sending their uh, children to to kindergartens or to enrichment centers or tuition centers, their children will have a head start. Unfortunately, uh, in, instead of helping their child, they are actually stressing their children out. Research shows that uh, when we subject children to pen paper activities and an academic curriculum at a very young age, um, it does more harm than good to the child. 
So the pressure on primary school students is so high that an increasing number of them are visiting the Institute of Mental Health for counselling. Is there a way to ease the situation? More discussion in the next episode.